Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Eric Levine, sailboat sales manager for Beneteau America. It's a beautiful day here in Annapolis, Maryland, and it's my great pleasure to welcome you aboard the brand new Beneteau First 27. The first range is a hugely important part of the Beneteau heritage. For more than 40 years, the promise and the premise of the first range has been to deliver performance sailing to every sailor, to every area, and every budget. And this boat does more than deliver. So we're going to spend a few minutes here today looking at some of the details of this boat, details that make it one of the finest sub 30 foot packages on the market today a thrilling combination of versatility, value, and of course, speed. This hull was designed by Samuel Manua, a real legend with an extensive racing background. She's an exercise in lightweight construction. She displaces 1,700 kilos, which is about 3,750 pounds. She's 26 feet, three inches long, eight feet, four inches wide, and the draft is five feet, seven inches. So this boat has been tuned for performance cruising, which means it's got an inboard 15 horsepower Yanmar diesel, a fixed keel, aluminum spars, and a more comfortable interior, which we'll discover in just a moment. Next, a few words about this cockpit, and I really, really like this cockpit. It, it's very straightforward, which means that movement is easy, uh, but it's got some really nice details to it uh, that really make life aboard on a day-to-day -day basis much easier and much more convenient. I love how comfortable these side decks are. Got a great line of sight, hand on the tiller, and hand on these discreet, understated, and, and perfectly placed throttle control for the engine. The uh, tiller setup with the overlaying traveler works really, really well. And on a boat like this, as you would expect, everything feels pleasantly instantaneous. Whether you're trimming the mainsail for a quick burst of speed, the steering is very responsive, and everything just happens instantly. And it's just so much fun to drive and so much fun to be here. People are always saying you gotta keep things simple, and the designers of this boat did exactly that. The lines are very simply set up, the electronics are conveniently placed and easy to use. You have convenient storage on either side of the cockpit. So it's a cockpit that's really overall pleasant, safe, and smart. The interior of this boat can best be described with three words. It's practical, it's ingenious, and it's cozy. A few things are immediately obvious as you come down the companionway. The first one is the volume in the cabin. For a 26-foot boat with an 8-foot beam, there's a lot of air in here. The second thing is the natural light. Great natural light coming from the companionway and the portholes. The third is the ventilation. You've got an enormous hatch above the uh, optional galley and optional head, and there's a secondary smaller hatch above the master stateroom. All these create a great airflow through the cabin, and even on a hot day like this, it doesn't feel too bad in here. Looking aft, the 15 horsepower Yanmar diesel with shaft drive is neatly tucked under the companionway. If you climb into the long, comfortable berths on either side, you'll notice how everything is easy to access, from the fuel tank to the bilge hose, and of course, the engine itself. They say the devil's in the details, and there are a lot of details about this boat that I really, really like, especially in the interior. The VHF radio is conveniently placed right next to the compression post at the mast. These bags work really well. You can pack them up at home, throw them in the car, and then when you're on the boat, hook them up right there and you're ready to go. Control panel is great. It's at the top of the companionway. You can access the switches for both inside and outside the boat. Same thing with this uh, nice chart plotter, which you can see from inside and of course outside the boat. Lastly, I really like the table. If you don't need the table inside, just pop it off, put it in the cockpit, and you're ready to rock and roll. The optional galley and optional head can be partitioned off with this ingenious panel system. Now who says cruiser says real master stateroom? And this boat does not disappoint. I say this in every video, I'm 6'4", 240 pounds, and look at how much room I've gotten here. This is a real master stateroom. One more important note about this boat, it is quote unquote unsinkable. There are three insubmersibility chambers on the boat, two aft and one under me here totaling over 100 cubic feet of insubmersible volumes. The front has a crash box, so if you hit something at night or hit something in the day, don't worry about it, the boat's not gonna go down, it's gonna stay afloat. You can buy the North Sails Dacron package, which include a main and a jib, 
but you're definitely going to want a downwind sail for this boat. Uh, we do have a furling Jenniker available as an option. It's uh, 760 square feet and uh, as you're going to see it really makes the boat go fast. This boat is the first one to arrive to the United States, but there are many, many, many more on the way. The boats are built in Slovenia to the highest standard of quality, and I'm going to be lucky enough to be sailing this boat all across the United States this summer. And that brings me to the ultimate trick of this boat. It fits a variety of programs so well. You want to go out for a solo day sail? It can do that. You want to take your family on a cruise to cruise? It can do that. You want to race seriously, semi-seriously? It can do that. If you want to go to Bermuda? It can also do that. And at the end of the day, at the end of the season, you put it on a trailer, you cover it up, take it to your backyard, you forget it about it until next year. The boat is an awesome package. It's just a cool boat. But don't take my word for it. Contact your local dealer. Come see the boat that they have coming. And I'll see you on the water real soon.